Well, I think like most people, I got into playing golf and loving golf at an early age as a kid. My grandfather retired to Pinehurst, and I would go spend summers there playing golf with him, and that, that was like my first exposure to world-class instruction. The people I kind of always looked up to or idolized coming up were coaches more than players. They were all huge influences on me. So the Launch Pro, we're really excited about it and getting it in the hands of every golfer out there. We know the data and technology behind it can revolutionize anybody's game. If you're out there practicing on the practice range, but you don't know the data points that go into your game and if you're getting better or worse with it, how can you really know if you're making any improvement? So we thought, hey, what better than putting it to the test? I'm Adam Siebold and Ryan Fisher and I are going to go and visit Tony Ruggiero down in Palm Beach Gardens at Old Palm Country Club to get his viewpoint on how we can put Launch Pro to use and get the most out of it. He uses it for his clients every single day, and we know that he's the coach to help us get better at our games. My goal is to get to an eight handicap. Right now, I'm a 14, so we're kind of terming me our bad to good golfer. Ryan Fisher, on the other hand, he's our scratch golfer who's looking to get to plus and be more competitive when he's playing his tournament golf. I hope you follow along and you enjoy. We know Tony's gonna to teach us a lot over the two days we're spending down at Old Palm. We're super excited. We hope you follow along and enjoy as well as we go along this journey. So, you know, I think that getting folks better at the game of golf is, is more simple than we try to make it. And I always look at fixing a person's golf swing kind of like we would paint a house, right? You do the trim and you do the corners. And so, you know, mid to upper handicap, it's like using rollers. We're gonna go ahead and fix the big things first. Uh, and then as the players get better and they keep working on their program, it's you coming along and you're using the small brush and you're fine tuning things and you're touching up the details. When you leave a lesson with me, you're gonna leave with a note card and two or three things written down on that note card. And uh, if you can't fit everything we did in a golf lesson on a three by five note card, I did a pretty poor job. So my job is to give you a couple things you can write down on a note card and a plan how to work on it, how to monitor it. And uh, if you do that, you'll get better and we'll put a good team of people around you that are gonna help you get better and you'll enjoy the game. Yeah, Mark Hackett, director of a long time director of instruction here at Old Palm, Golf Magazine Top 100 teacher. Been so fortunate to be part of his team here at Old Palm and we do a lot of teaching together. You and I both came up under a lot of the great teachers and people in the game. Absolutely. And you know, I think they stress to us a couple things. One, never get too far away from the fundamentals and the importance of grip, posture, setup, balance, uh, getting square club faces and developing pivots. So, you, you know, I think if you come see us, you're gonna see some pretty traditional stuff in that aspect. And that's what's awesome about using a bush now. You can create numbers, right. click a little database, have an ability, you know, to something to reference when you're playing good, when you're playing bad and it's, it gives you a game plan. So obviously, you know, we're having two little different programs here. We're doing a little bit of a, of a bad to good, someone who's more of that mid-high handicapper, and obviously a scratch golfer, and trying to make sure that, you know, for the scratch golfer, how do you get to that next level? For somebody who's still kind of starting out mid-handicapper, how do you get to that single digit? Right. So what's your kind of thoughts there and how we, we're gonna go about that and set this program up? So I think the information will be very similar, right? The things that we're trying to get you to do, I mean, golf's a rotary sport, it's an athletic movement. Um, and I think golf be is becoming more and more athletic every year. And so we're gonna be training you and ask, helping you do a lot of the same things. Obviously, the guy that's further along the journey is you know probably has less pieces of the puzzle missing right. and it's maybe more refining it so we're probably going to do rollers with you right yeah, we're going to hit the big stuff you might be a little more refined so uh there'll be some similarities but you know we got to find out i always say we got to find out the one thing that's causing each of you to hit poor shots there's generally one thing that causes a bunch of stuff to go wrong our job's to you know, find that, and hopefully we'll have some success doing that today. Yeah, that's a great way of putting it. So we're looking, uh, looking forward to it. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be fun. Yeah. After a little sit down with Tony, we head into the training room where Tony worked with us one on one with the help of his staff fine tuning our techniques. Don't let this hip 
go away from the chair, right? So it stays there, so you're loading into it. You can turn and not twist. There you go, right? This is a little more sway it up. Just a little spine to it. Yeah, right? Go back to the start. Wow. Feel that? Yep. A little backswing, yeah. Two tips starting to stabilize. Right. That tip and fib, right? Yep. That foot starting to really work into the ground now. You're starting to get that connection that we wanted you to feel. Right. So now, for you stay in that position. So from that position now, I want you to rotate to my hand with the dowel wrap. Yep. Good. So see now, your first move used to be this way, now right. you can't because if you go that way, laterally, right. you're gonna fall over. Right. So what I'm connecting you to the ground. So now rotate, we're gonna keep, we want the shoulder to work underneath your hip. Okay. So make it work underneath. Yeah, there you go, good. You guys are gonna feel that start to move. Good, so what we're creating now in the hip, right? We're yep. creating internal hip mobility. I'm making right. you use the hip internal. If it loads internally, that's how we load. Right. We load internal, we unload external. Don't that right hip move back. Yep. You feel how deep that is now? Yep. But it's a lot deeper than what you were before. Look, you already, you're not swaying off the ball anymore. Come here, watch this. The club looks a lot more stable through impact there, for sure. Look at your lower body, see you get Yeah. Wow. Look at the difference, huh? Look at the difference there. So Tony and the team washed our form and really helped us fine tune our technique by leveraging the Launch Pro. So we really kind of played around with our numbers to get our club head speed up or make sure our path was into out as opposed to having more an out to in approach, obviously. Just trying to draw that ball from right to left as opposed to just kind of swiping at it going left to right. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I've been doing this a while, right? And I think that as you go from a guy that shoots 100 to 90 to 80 to 70, the biggest change is their development of their pivot. The ability to wind up and unwind and deliver the club with that rotary motion. So to me, anytime a 15 handicapper comes to me, or 14, like first thing I'm like is, we're gonna clean this pivot up and get him to use it. Cause to me, like 14, 15 handicapper, you've got a little bit in there, but you don't know how to use it or do it at all. Right, you know? And so like to me, that's the whole thing is if you can leave with a good understanding of how to do this, you'll get better. Like that. <laughs> wow. There we go. There we go. Good work, brother. I was amazed with how quickly Tony got my swing path from out to in to in to out. Well, this is a couple of simple tweaks with my golf swing and just some simple thoughts with my, my take back, which really made the biggest difference. It was awesome to see the different workouts and different tips and tricks that Ryan can use to get his club head speed up. I, I was really blown away how quick and easy it was. And these are all simple, simple different tweaks and adjustments that any golfer can use. And again, using that Launch Pro, you can get that feedback immediately if it actually is making an impact in your game or not. So I would tell you that your plan is to learn to get balanced at address and become real particular with it, like refine it, refine it, refine it. Then it's to learn how to turn and create more load going back and then how to release your center and your body going through. All right, so that would be all your note card. Now Colby's gonna give you exercises and ways to learn that movement pattern better, but that's all you should be trying to get at. At the end of the session, both Ryan and I were blown away. We had so much better improvements. Ryan again with his club at speed is way up. He was also just striping the ball. Anybody who's watching that could definitely see he was just crushing it. It was awesome to see. And on my side, again, it was just, it was amazing to see how my path was corrected so quickly. It just almost made me feel like, man, I've wasted so much time trying so many other things. 
and it shows the value of, of talking with somebody like Tony. You know, you can work by yourself all the time, but when you work with someone like Tony, you're giving you these, these simple and easy different tweaks to your swing and your game and the thoughts that you have and almost the feelings you have within your body, you can change your game so quickly. So stay tuned in because up next in the Pro Work series is a deep dive into Ryan's training with Tony Mark and Colby. We'll be giving you the inside peek of what it looks like to have a session with this incredible crew of golf professionals. Make sure to subscribe and follow along as we continue our game improvement journeys with the help of the Launch Pro.